Hey, what's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. This video, I'm going to try to keep this uh, pretty brief, try to keep this pretty short, but uh, I thought this would be kind of interesting. So I get a lot of people, you know, wondering, like, how do you come up with product ideas? How do I think of product ideas? How do I think of niche ideas? How can I find a product to make or a product to sell? And a lot of times it's hard to give an answer. You know, I, I'm pretty active online. I'm always kind of browsing social media and Reddit and YouTube, and I like to kind of stay on top of trends. And I, I personally think Reddit is like a great place to stay on top of like trends and get ideas and even for like t-shirt design like funny memes and funny sayings and viral things going on um, I think it's a great place to look for things and I happen to see this uh, this today and it says I found this this joint holder at an antique store um, and so a couple things here first off you know I found a potential business idea off Reddit um, I'm, I'm not really into 3D printing. I don't really know how to do 3D design. I don't have a 3D printer, but I know a lot of people um, are opening Shopify stores selling like little 3D printed, you know, knickknacks and widgets and wing wangs or whatever you want to call them. Just 3D printing little odd items and then selling them through Shopify stores. So uh, for me, this kind of sparked an idea. I thought this is a pretty cool idea. Um, if you know how to design things in, in 3D printing software, you could copy this idea and make two hands and make joint holders. You could also do all types of clever little things. You could have like a, you know, like a wiener dog and the joint rests on his back. You could have a, you know, uh, two llamas and it, it sits on their noses. You could have a, you know, a, a unicorn and the joint sits on his, you know, sits on his spike. You know, there's all different types of like cool little fun kind of, uh, different like little joint holder things like this you could make and as far as the cost like I, I don't really know what the costs are involved in 3d printing but I mean just for the plastic I'm guessing to print something relatively small like this would you know I would think under two dollars maybe even under a buck uh, priority mail for you know something one ounce two ounces which is probably what something like this would weigh I'm guessing is I don't know what two dollars and 36 cents or something like that um, so if you were to sell something like this for $9.99, I think it would be kind of a cool, cute little impulse buy. You sell it for $9.99, shipping brings you down to $7.50, product cost brings you down to $6.50. Um, basically $6.50 profit um, for something that you're not having to order in bulk, you're not having to deal with suppliers, you could come up with a few designs and just kind of crank these out on your 3D printer as needed. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give this idea out there. If any of you guys are into 3D printing, this could be uh, kind of a fun little Shopify business to start. And you know, maybe it's successful, maybe it's not, but I could see something like this doing well. I would probably buy one from you. If anyone runs with this idea and wants to send me a free one, uh, hit me up, I, I'd love to have one. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought this was kind of a, a potential business idea for some of you guys into 3d printing and also for anyone who's like you know how do you come up with product ideas and things like that like i was just browsing reddit and saw this and kind of thought it it, it looked interesting and thought you could maybe make some money off something like this so that's a video for today guys if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button below help me get to 100,000 subscribers so i can get that silver play button i've been grinding for um and that's all guys until next time rules for rebels i'm out of here